Hey fam, we gonna drag y'all kicking and screaming because you gonna eat your vegetables tonight after you taste our Brussels sprouts. We're gonna make it with some bacon, uh, onion, and then stay tuned because we're gonna make a balsamic glaze to go on top. To start, we're gonna go ahead and cut out onion and you don't have to cut this onion up too small or too big. So I'm just gonna slice it one time down the middle. The long way and then the short way now this was a medium sized onion depending on how big size of a pan you're making you know you can just judge what size onion you want to use so this is perfect for this amount of bag of brussels sprouts but we're gonna make these brussels sprouts in the oven roast it and they're gonna be delicious with this bacon the onion is going to add a nice little flavor to it but anything that we're adding today if you don't want it in there guess what what we always say you don't have to add it so just go ahead and move those to the side and then we're going to go ahead and slice up the bacon now although we are eating the bacon we at least try to be on the healthier side with the lesser amount of salt in it and it still tastes good we're not really missing out on any of the salt content, for real, for real. This bacon, you can go ahead and slice it up. I was just in here fussing with the kids because I could be done this bacon in like two seconds. But the kids that misplaced my kitchen shears. So I'm just going to have to use my knife. Just make it work. And the bacon doesn't have to be too small at all. Because you want to be able to see it after it's cooked with the Brussels sprouts. So this size is fine. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this bacon sliced up. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so here's the bacon nice and sliced up. And this was only a half a pack of bacon. That's all we really need for this recipe. It's not going to be a Baconator type of Brussels sprouts dinner. But hey, if it floats your boat to add more bacon, add more bacon. So now we're going to go ahead and add our bacon and our onions into the pot because we want that flavor from that bacon to seep right into those onions. And you don't need any oil in this pan because the bacon is going to do it all. All right. So while we wait on the bacon and the onions to cook, we're going to go ahead and get the Brussels sprouts ready. I got my strainer here because we're going to rinse these Brussels sprouts off. But you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut the end of the Brussels sprout off. And these are just mini cabbages if you never had Brussels sprouts before. Look, I don't know who I think I'm fooling trying to cut this Brussels sprout in my hand. I am not that good with cutting in my hand. So let me put this on the board. All right. And then I'm going to just cut them in half. And we're going to rinse some more. So we're just going to cut all the tips of these Brussels sprouts off. And then cut them in half. Depending on the size of the Brussels sprout, like this one is bigger. I probably can cut this into fours. You see that? I'm just going to leave it like that. It should be fine. See that? So comment down below and let me know how you guys like your Brussels sprouts or what type of sauce you add on yours. See that? And you're going to get a lot of flyaway pieces as you prep your Brussels sprouts. And these things are super dirty, so make sure you rinse them off really good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this bag up, and then we'll be wet right back. So here are the cut up Brussels sprouts. We're about to go ahead and rinse them off. But really quick, I just wanted to show you this. When cooking Brussels sprouts, you might get scared because sometimes you'll see a lot of like crazy pieces like this. But as long as you just peel back the layer and if it starts to be nice and green again, then you're good. Just take that piece off. But, you know, if it's too messed up where once you start to cut it and lift up the layers and it still look like this, then just toss it out. You don't want to keep that part. And just like you cook in any other type of vegetable, you know, it has a lot of dirt on it. But try not to move them around too much because then they'll continue to separate. That's the only thing with Brussels sprouts that's annoying. You have to be gentle, tender, loving care, just like our turkey wings. Y'all know how it is. 
for this step because we're going to roast these brussels sprouts in the oven you need to go ahead and get you a sheet pan i line mine with some foil and i'm gonna go ahead and take this big bowl so we can mix our brussels sprout mixture in before you do the step go ahead and preheat your oven to 375. so what we're going to do now is go ahead and add our baking mixture to this bowl i find it easier that if i put everything in this bowl right here and then mix it all together with the seasonings that I won't mess my sheet pan up one, you know, rip holes all in the foil, I'm trying to stir it up. <laughs> and then two, I can get all the seasonings mixed in carefully without having to break apart the Brussels sprouts too much. And if you notice, I did not cook the bacon all the way because it's still going to cook in the oven for a good amount of time. And you don't want your bacon to be crispy here. And then you put it in the oven and it's going to get more crispier. So as soon as this starts to look like this, just go ahead and put it in your bowl. To season this up, we have some Halayan pink salt. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle some of that. A sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Go ahead and give these Brussels sprouts some nice, good flavor. And you want to be liberal because these brussels sprouts do soak up a lot of flavor but not go overboard add a little bit of garlic if i had some minced garlic i would have probably added that instead of this and then depending on how you cook your regular cabbage if you want to season it the same way you can do it the same way it's up to you but remember we're going to add a sauce to this on top that glaze to tie everything together so you don't have to really do too too much and then i'm just going to add a touch a little bit more of this onion powder all right now when you mix it which is a whoop, gotta fly away now once we put this bacon in the oven with these brussels sprouts that fat is going to render out as well and it's going to be so delicious now you see how easy i'm just able to flip these brussels sprouts around if you were just to put it straight on your sheet pan you won't be able to do it this way and then now we can go ahead and add it to our sheet pan this is the satisfying part right here where you get to see your brussels sprouts going all on the sheet pan and you're like oh yes I know this is about to be good and delicious. Another thing is that Brussels sprouts is more of a texture type of vegetable, which is why a lot of people don't like them. Because depending on the method that you cook it, you either gonna like it or you don't. If you get the ones that you get out the freezer aisle and it's the steamable ones and you put it in the microwave, those are gonna be too sold. I really don't care for those too much. Or you can cook these right on top of the stove top depending on what type of flavor you put in it some people don't add the bacon you know just whatever floats your boat but if you do add the bacon in the onions oh child that's what's going to turn it up and then wait till we add that extra sauce at the end mm. now what i'm gonna do also right now is just add some of this toasted sesame oil if y'all know about that sesame oil go ahead and comment down below it is just so freaking amazing we love it on like our vegetables anytime you're making like stir fries or anything like that. So just go ahead and drizzle some of that sesame oil on it. And you can be as liberal as you want to. You know, it just depends on how oily or how much of that sesame oil flavor you like. And we love it. So I added a good amount to that. Y'all, that smells so good already. Once our oven heats up to 375, we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to say 20 minutes just to start out. We're going to check the tenderness of them and then go from there. So while we wait on our oven to heat up, we're going to go ahead and start our balsamic glaze. If y'all have ever seen Brussels sprouts and they have like this black sauce drizzled on top, that's what this is. And we're going to go ahead and reduce this down. Now, even though this is vinegar, okay, it's not going to be all sour and bitter. That's why we're going to go ahead and add something special to it. In our same pot with our onions and our bacon, we're going to go ahead and add some of this vinegar. Now, if y'all have never used balsamic vinegar, I'm telling you, this is one of them things that is going to light your kitchen up. I mean, just by the smell of it, you know, because it's so strong and pungent. As soon as it gets heated up and that smell just gets in the air, it's like, whoo. Mm. <laughs> Now, I like to make a lot of this sauce 
and we pretty much don't have that much left in the bottle so why not i'm just gonna go ahead and just use it all up and then it's gonna go ahead and pull some out for the homies if not it's just gonna be in the refrigerator just looking like another collectible bottle just sitting there and wasting up space now to this we're gonna add some honey or you can add brown sugar but because this is what's sitting right here right now we're just gonna go ahead and add this I'm not even gonna measure it, just gonna eyeball it. Make it a little sweet, make it a little spicy with a little bit of jalapeno pepper. I know y'all probably like, girl, why are you about to do that? Because we just wanna add a little bit of balance. A little sweet, a little sour, and some spicy. But again, you can omit anything that we're using. We just showing you how to do it and do it good. All right. Just put this on low. You do not want to have this up high because it will burn. And then it's going to get nice and thick. Y'all know, just like how y'all like as women, this is what the vinegar is looking like so far. So it's still loose. When you use this balsamic vinegar, you are going to want to crack a window because it's going to be so strong. I'm telling you now, don't get knocked out by the smell. I don't want you. Just open up a window. So I just tasted it. I just pulled these Brussels sprouts out the oven. It's probably been about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip them just so you can see what they look like. Because if you don't flip them, it's going to kind of look dry. You see that one right there where it doesn't look like it's a lot of oil on it. They look so good already. And you can see that it's nothing sticking to the pan. And then when you do this, you just want to flip them, okay? Don't go in here and manhandle these Brussels sprouts because if so, you're going to get all of those pieces all over the place. And that's not what you want. And then also, we want to make sure that we cook that bacon all the way through and get it nice and crispy. So you have to flip this midway because all of these bacon pieces are not going to be done just if you leave it on top. All right, and then these Brussels sprouts are nice and tender. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven up to about, right now it's on 375 and we just cooked them for about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn the oven up to about 425. Okay, still not ready yet. Now I did go ahead and add some more honey because this vinegar is really bitter. So depending on how sweet you want it, just add as much as you like. But for that whole bottle, I end up adding the whole bottle of honey. Let's go ahead and get this goodness of this balsamic sauce into our bowl. So that way it can just go ahead and cool down just a little and it's going to get nice and thick but you see how sticky it is it's so sweet but tangy at the same time with a little bit of heat on it now one thing with this sauce is that you're really going to have to babysit it because if not this is going to be a hot mess and you see how it's nice and thick and you know when it's done because it's going to taste like syrup it's so good and it coats the back of your spoon like that oh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and just sit this to the side all right so i'm gonna show y'all the final review for these brussels sprouts i did put them on broil at the end for about five minutes to get a nice little crisp on them and they turned out looking like this now this is what you call some brussels sprouts look at that that bacon and everything is nice and done now if you want to leave it right on this sheet pan and serve it up just like this you can or if you want to get nice and fancy just go ahead and put it in this dish right here either way either way your family is going to love this dish and devour it i'm telling you they're not even going to think it's vegetables especially brussels sprouts come on now y'all come on Come on. Put it on this side. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and take this hot balsamic and just just like that. Woo! Talk about some goodness and deliciousness, y'all. 
Now, this is going to be one of them things where they're not just going to have one serving. They're going to come back for more and more and more. Because you see how it looks. It looks nice and delicious and caramelized and bacony. So make sure y'all go ahead and roll with the fam. We keep trying to tell you, roll with us, chat with us, share this recipe. So make sure y'all come back and visit us. We're going to save you a seat at the dinner table. We're going to make sure y'all eat y'all vegetables. And we'll see y'all back for the next video. See y'all later.